Hey, good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard. Uh, my dog, Yucca, and Rio are out on the trail with me. We're in Ash Springs, part of Calico Basin. And the rain yesterday made the ground real soft and made everything real green. It's definitely greened up out here, which is good for the season. I'm just walking by the foundations of what would have been, uh, I think, Bob Stupek's house. Uh, he owned the Stratosphere, and he had some uh, some gambling and drinking issues that led to him losing uh, losing properties. But uh, I, uh, I I think that when you get your opportunity, it'd be real easy for you to like look at it as oh it's you know it's come oh it's not not as big as i thought or not you know so, wow there's a rabbit being chased by a pit bull out here and he's gonna lose because pit bulls are slow and rabbits are fast you gotta remember that um anyway i'm uh I'm out here hiking around and i thought about my opportunities and, and what's going on right now. And um, I just have to stay the course, you know. Uh, I, I've been uh, working on taking care of all the responsibilities that need to be taken care of while I'm down here. And then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, uh, you know, the season has been really nice to me as far as weather. It's May, it's late May, and uh, it should be, you know, over 100 already or going towards it, and it hasn't been. Uh, it's been rather nice and cool, so I'm hoping it's going to be a cooler season, and it will go into June, and then it'll start to climb. Um, I'm really trying to figure out where uh, to go for the summer because I know that Las Vegas last year I was dealing with 110, 118 uh, degree heat. The dogs didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I'm trying to figure out uh, exactly what I'm what I'm going to do there. But I do know that um, Montana's been calling me. And then I uh, also have a lot of opportunities. I've, I've been thinking, I, I keep having a reoccurring dream that I go and visit Dharma Jane and help her build some sort of structure on the, the raven's nest, uh, the property out there. So I think it'll be really, uh, really interesting to see what happens. And uh, right now I'm, I'm really doing my internal work getting ready for the next stage because this is where it where it becomes good so you know child actors and then other people who've had opportunities end up getting into alcohol or drugs or sex or you know any number of things and they don't uh they don't seize the moment or you know maybe they do seize the moment maybe that's part of the great art but I, uh, I, I think that greatness comes from divine planning. The divine planning comes from you praying. When you pray and you do things a certain way, the vibration hits and the universe goes, okay, he must really want that. And then that happens. And that's how manifestation, for me anyway, works. I don't care about moon cycles necessarily, however they do uh, affect my moods. When it's a full moon I get a little squirrely, not squirrely, but a little bit emotional. When it's a new moon I get really direct and really like ready to do something, you know, conquer the world type of energy. and. Um, I just find that, you know, I try and manifest all the time. I try and manifest, you know, exactly what I want and, uh, and how and why I need it that way. And so 
as I've been doing that, it's just been going poof, poof, poof. And all these opportunities and all these things have come up. As you watch my channel, you'll be like, wow, it's been a bunch of giant, giant leaps, but they're all little miniature miracles. Like you got your, your job and you got this and you got that and then you, you got back to climbing and you got your, your physical form back to where you want it. Now, what are you going to do with it? So the next stage that you're going to see is pretty amazing. Um, when I do one of these announcements, it's basically that you're going to see a change up like no other, you know. I'll go from rock climbing out in the desert to motorbiking out in the mountain, you know. Um, I, I'm looking forward to getting back on a motorcycle and, uh, and being a little more careful, but showing you what I got. And, you know, some of those are world record speeds and stuff. And uh, my buddy Bill Heckle up in Montana... I'm hoping that we can get a couple KLR 650s and show you guys what we do. And uh, I've seen him doing 95 to 100 miles an hour with his elbow up going around a corner. And uh, just amazing, you know, uh, uh, super cross, you know, um, super moto. So, you know, street and dirt combination and then the speeds and everything else that you see. You'll see Robbie Madison drift a corner at 60 miles an hour like it's nothing. So um, I, I love riding motorcycles. It's it's a wonderful thing. So that's really the, the next goal uh, is getting a bike and getting back out there and showing you guys what, what we got. So um, I'll continue climbing, uh, continue advancing at that. And then uh, hopefully by next spring, we have some uh, whitewater, whitewater to show you guys. We'll be, uh, I'll be back to kayaking and surfing and all of that stuff. So um, I just had to rebuild my shoulder from scratch, and I did it myself just by exercise and rock climbing. You have to be really careful because you could dislocate it again. Um, but... It is strong now, you know, I did chips the other day and that was a full body lock off on one arm. So I, I think I, I got something back. Uh, divine messages are if you work really, really hard and you manifest really, really hard and you pray about stuff and then you come out here and talk to your guides, you might just get exactly what you want. And uh, what I mean by that is everything you've been working on might actually come right to fruition, right in a miracle time where everybody goes, wow, how'd you do that? And I'm going to be like, I don't know. So I hope you guys have a good day. Have a great day. Mahalo, shoots.